What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How we all do? <laughs> Amen. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How we all doing? I have two friends of mine from grad school, Doctor Anish Gorantiwar and future Doctor Jyotirmoy Mukherjee. Uh, how this video is going to go is I'm going to give a topic that we've actually previously heard, and we're going to debate about the topic, and then just see where the discussion takes us, basically. All the functions of the organs are dependent on the protein part, and if there is no protein or less protein, it won't work. And while omegas are good fats for your brain, long-term consumption of other fats, like trans and saturated fats, may compromise brain health. Controls on the food industry may be necessary to fight India's surging obesity rates and the illnesses that it causes. Imagine that more than half of all diseases due to food which makes you wonder what exactly qualifies as a good diet. All right, so the topic for today is going to be lack of nutrition awareness among the youth. And uh, this is more specific to Indian youth because all three of us were born in India. Uh, we lived there for 20 plus years. And then we came here uh, to the US to study for a master's slash PhD. The other two did PhD. Uh, and I've been working for three years. so. We've seen different ways that people look at nutrition in general. Another point about us, which I know from Jyotramoy at least, is we're all kind of foodies. Growing up, ate a lot of carbs. Obviously, uh, rice-heavy food in South India, roti-heavy food in uh, North India, and uh, yeah. Maggie-heavy food in West Maggie. India. <laughs> <laughs> Some people ate Maggie a lot. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to name names here, Anish. So the reason I bring up this topic is there was a point where I was 95 kilograms in weight. This was around 2021 during COVID. And now I'm in the 71 to 72 range, uh, kilograms of range. I've seen a small spike up for like two kilograms or three kilograms. And then I come back usually. I only thought that you could lose weight by dieting, which is like stopping yourself from eating food, reducing the quantity that you eat, right? And uh, what happened was I would do intermittent fasting. I lost a lot of weight. I lost like seven kgs, but then I couldn't keep up the fasting routine. And I started eating just a bit more and I started gaining weight again. That's because I just ate the wrong stuff in a way. So uh, yeah, this is what I've noticed. I believe I, if I had known what nutrition was or uh, like what is the makeup of different kinds of food, I would have been a little bit smarter. I wouldn't have let myself go to 95 kgs you grow the risk of getting a chronic disease if you start overeating now, right? India is also very high in uh, growing obesity rates. Where we are in the US is high in obesity rates as well. Um, so that's why I feel this topic is important. I don't know what you guys think about it in general. Jyotima, I will start with you. Do you feel uh, that nutrition knowledge is something that doesn't exist to a high degree among the common youth? Yeah, I mean, okay, so I spent most of my life in academia. I, I I was a good student. I liked studying. And one of the factors which I when I look back, I see is I wish I had been educated more on how important it is to choose nutritious food. Um, luckily, being in an Indian family, I think somehow the diet that was consumed for whatever reason, has been carried on for generations. The concept of balanced meal, like carbs and proteins, and you know, it was more of a vegetarian diet as well as a non-vegetarian diet. But things are balanced, um, things which were nutritious, but I was not aware of, like drinking um, yogurt, milk, or buttermilk, for example, in the summer. So there, there, there were components to it which just happened passively, but I was not aware of why I'm eating certain things and why I should why I wasn't eating something else. So these kind of things I wish I had more understanding because when I came here, of course, I was depending on other people. Mm -hmm. If my roommates would say like, let's cook this, sure, let's cook this. If I'm out uh, in the university, as you said, Subway, that that was the cheapest and the best choice, and it was marketed as a healthy option, which I'm not <laughs> sure how healthy it is. It is enough, um, yeah. Yeah, among the options that was available, you know, in terms of the geographical distance that we had to walk, Subway was the closest one. So I guess um, 
I mean, to, to put it in perspective, I wish I had learned more about nutrition. And I, w- I wish parents can actually involve children in decision making when it comes to food. Like, I don't know, on a daily basis, what should what should everybody eat? You know, so when such decision making is given to children, obviously they're not going to make the best choices at first. But that's where parenting comes in and that's where guidance comes in. So I guess it should be a part of life and not just a coursework that you take in, from university and you're done with it. Okay. I have a follow up on that, which uh, I feel I have an opposite perspective on mm-hmm. uh, the Indian understanding of macros and a balanced diet, but we'll get right. to that. Right. Uh, let's go to Anish. What is your, because I, from what I can see, Anish has been lean all his entire life. He eats a lot yeah. of sweet and everything like that. So you come with a different perspective than uh, both of us who have been he- on the heavier side at points. And then we've been lighter again. So we inhale fat. <laughs> Yeah, so there is a metabol- metabolism at play and stuff, yeah. right? So what do you think, Anish? Like, where is nutrition important? Do people lack it or is it even necessary? What do you think? Yeah, I think people definitely lack knowing about nutrition. Like coming from my personal experience, I've always had a slightly higher metabolism rate in a way. That's be would- nice. <laughs> I would eat anything that didn't affect my body at that point of time and that's why I wasn't paying attention to nutrition as such but now as I'm getting older I'm realizing I could have made some better decisions into what I was putting in my body at that point of time but yeah I think echoing to yeah, Chotar Moe's point similarly like in India parents tell us what to eat and in one way or the other it's kind of falls in place in a way okay that you need to have say this much amount of carbs this much amount of proteins and so on in your body but when you come to the US and if you are going to a new country for the first time generally the approach is you'll start eating stuff which you don't get in India and those are generally fall along the unhealthy side of things so you'll start eating more fast food more more oily food like from my experience i would eat out most of the time more frozen food content and when you're in that range like i didn't feel any effects of food which i was eating but now yeah, as you get older it's more along the lines that you have to i would be. say you did not see any visible effects yeah mm. i did not see any visible effects yeah hopefully 10 years down the line nothing happens <laughs> well i do know for a fact that he stopped eating sweets at least at a high rate yeah. Yeah, uh, so I used to be cool. the person who did it. I, I, so, yeah. Turns out I got anemia. Like, so this was the first year I'm actually like on my own. I've been living on my own. Up until now, it was with roommates. So somehow, you know, the food was like, as I said, we cooked every day. And for whatever reason, there were a mix of things. So sometimes it's easier to make decisions like yeah. living with you guys and the other roommates. maybe i would force down some good food which i know is good and convincing you guys to eat it i would eat it myself but yeah my yeah. spinach intake and all that went down and turns out like like borderline anemia but these are real effects which i have noticed so there you go so one point i wanted to make when it comes to like uh, both of you give the point which is interesting uh, which is as you're growing up you're told what you need to eat so it's out of you it's not something you even focus on in life right mm-hmm. my focus when i'm in school in india is like oh sh- i need to get my marks right hey t- i have a pt period today Let- let's go and play that or oh, do i have all my homework done or if i don't have my homework done which is most of the time it is like okay how do i manage to uh, no, like, no. negotiate <laughs> this situation and things and i want to add one thing in this in school the other thing was you you get your lunch boxes packed right yeah so, so it's, it's not your problem of, at this point right and the problem was more like okay what am i going to see inside the box today is it going to be to my liking go. or is it not going it's to be going to be upma liking? again bhai oh yeah. the, <laughs> the, the, a subtle but such a powerful fact is you don't realize that you can decide what can be inside that box Yeah that's the thing like we don't decide at that point but we then when we come to yeah. a point where we need to decide every day this yeah, is a and then big uh, problem now and the problem is we also don't give it that much attention yeah it's just food okay i can just get what i want uh, mm-hmm. there is a lot of thought behind like why people eat certain things which uh, you were talking about like spinach being there every time radish uh, karela all of these things right yeah. we get uh, 
I don't like it. But uh, now you understand, you right? Yeah. Why it makes sense? Why you have to eat it when you're given a clean slate suddenly in your uh, early twenties in a different place altogether? That's when you start see, uh, seeing seeing. Uh, at least first, you don't give it the appreciation you need, and so you just start overeating. And when you get sick or something else like that happens, then you start to develop that uh, appreciation. And that is what I mean by having awareness of nutrition in general. But now to go to that point, which is, uh, yeah, we were packed lunches from India, but I'm not really sure adult Indians even to this day have a really good understanding of nutrition in general as well. Why I bring that up is. Uh, 80 uh, there is a statistic here uh, i'll put it in the video properly but the footnotes is 80% of indians don't get their daily protein intake and one of the major reasons is the indian calorific diet is based on the indian lifestyle that was there for 30 40 years ago right uh, and we used to be in the farm agriculture was the prime sector that everyone used to be outside they had to work they had to spend more energy and suddenly there is a spike in the service industry in india so everyone is now having a desk job and the amount of work output that they do has drastically reduced but the food intake and even supply of food has increased like people can afford food more now and i don't feel the appreciation for nutrition changes have ever been given like your lifestyle has changed your food intake has uh, like your access to food has increased and if your diet hasn't changed while your lifestyle has changed it could either be beneficial or bad like if your uh, activity levels have become higher and you're eating the same amount of food it's healthier uh, but like if you're severe lack of energy that's a problem as well the opposite spectrum right and the other one is you're getting access to so much food but your lifestyle has become very less active then you're starting to accumulate a lot of uh, body fat and things like that right and i feel that's what happens in india there's a, there is a very high rampant growth in obesity rates among kids now in india and uh, that's why maybe it's because the early adults that we are uh, like the, just one stage above us they weren't given the same, they grew up the same way right where uh, things were packed for them but lifestyle was different at that time and when they have grown up I feel they haven't adapted to the change in lifestyle, to the change in how the world has operated. So this is where I feel there is a problem that uh, even just mimicking what our parents made for us uh, would solve the problem in a way. Does that make sense? Uh, at least for the growing generation that is coming up right now. Yeah, I think I agree with that. The first instinct that always comes to me on deciding what to eat is mimicking what I would eat at home yeah. or what I would be eating at home. Luckily, I mean, I like cooking, so no matter what, I'll try to figure out the recipe. I'll ask my mom, or I'll just go on YouTube and Madras Samal Samayal or Bong Eats or you know these popular channels. <clears throat> Shout out to them. <laughs> anyway. Kavita's Kitchen. Yeah. Kavita's Kitchen. Oh, that's the new one. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I just look up. I mean, it's great. So I guess my nutrition knowledge would be me making what my parents. um used to feed me basically like that's that's the subconscious um mindset anish what do you think never yeah i think they yeah, agree on most of those points like what i felt was after graduating and living alone there's a lot of inertia especially like i i don't cook i i started cooking now but i, I mean to be fair you know uh, i do say like it's really good to have a cooking habit because you yeah. can the uh, you can do whatever you want when it comes to yeah. like what you're consuming and stuff that's yeah. what is good but uh, that's not where we're going with it but you, you, you can still what stay into that box yeah so you can <laughs> also stay healthy by eating outside as well so yeah, yeah. yeah what eating, do you think with that area uh, eating healthy outside in us is expensive is what i would say mm-hmm. so uh, being students and just starting working in us you have to somehow develop an habit that you will get at home uh so as you can see with technical issues we have lost one among us uh <laughs> yeah so uh let's give the cliff notes of this entire thing so far we've noticed there is a need for getting nutrition information at least from our situation yeah. so far right uh why do you like can you give any ramifications of uh if we don't develop in future years what could go about we'll keep that as a conclusion 
uh, for this video the thing which i feel is like especially the younger generation since you don't see its visual or its physical effects immediately you it's very difficult to convince younger people because i have been in the same boat right all of us have been because since you don't see anything visually it's, it's very difficult to convince them that what you're doing or what you're eating is wrong not necessarily wrong but you can improve it in a certain way right so that's where i feel the gap lies right now so to convince younger generation not not only younger generation like people in general like what they put in their body is important and so that requires some kind of a different education system because in india we we've, we've learned about cells we've learned about proteins carbohydrates but on a different kind of aspect right It's yeah I, it's like part what is the parts of a cell mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell of the <laughs> everyone knows that yeah you know that kind of information yeah. we know food exists we yeah. know how to get it put together yeah the the practical aspect of like right. why do you need what is protein what is fiber yeah, what is okay. carbohydrates yeah. why we do we that. need a mix of these yeah we know their definition mm. but we don't know how to apply it to us in real life and the thing is like especially for us coming from india to the us there's this a big trans i think we've already talked about this so there's a big transition you don't know you're generally attracted to the things which you don't find in india and which is junk food or fast food so then how do we cope up with that transition in a better way to be fair i think indian food is amazing like yeah. uh, are aloo paratha all of these things the problem is they're all heavy in calories Yeah. So uh, you need to offset ek like have this on a monday have something else on a tuesday have yeah. have protein heavy dishes on a tuesday yeah. or something to make That's sure you're not in, or work your hell off like just keep yeah. walking uh, get that lifestyle that indians used to have in the yeah, exactly, like yeah. 20 years ago 30 years ago like if you are yeah. in a more sedentary lifestyle and you have to eat the same yeah. amount of, yeah yeah if you if you need to eat more Uh, yeah you're going to accumulate either fat or like because your ba- uh, diet is not balanced again uh, based on how you work or how your lifestyle is uh, yeah it can cause health problems later on yeah. diabetes is a very big example yeah. once you have it there's no way you're going back there's right no uh, going yeah back. it it becomes a perennial issue for you so yeah there are specific issues which are like for example most of the people i've interacted with they always have like vitamin d3 b12 deficiencies those are like how do we overcome those because those i've seen are like the common ones which have at least seen exist in nearly all of indians and when they come to the us they just get more amplified yeah, yeah. one extra point i'd like to highlight is if we don't have a structure which teaches us nutrition and everything in general You yeah. can see right now in the internet. Hey, take these pills for weight loss. Hey, yeah. uh, like if you're having gut problems, have this pill, have this supplement. Yeah. People are you have all of these marketing scams that are going on, right? Yeah. And uh, you're gonna fall for it if you don't have a centralized, good source of information regarding yeah, nutrition. That's, that's that brings so up nice. a good point. Like you're gonna get fall prey to all of the like. this is one play like when we get into an issue where we are insecure about our body or how we are feeling on a health yeah. like a level yeah. you're going to start believing what you see and you're going to yeah. start going down a bad route in terms of like you could just buy stuff which makes no sense at all because you don't personally know uh like it's actually very simple like how these things break down like what yeah. is a macronutrient what is a micronutrient what is the level you need per day and things like that so if we don't have a centralized good source you are going to get immersed in the misinformation about uh, everything for example uh, like if we didn't have history books that say like what happened with the holocaust that's a very big example or all of these things that you've been studied if you just watch youtube video i can make an ai based video which could say something completely different uh, and uh, or like look completely different just because it's recorded in history and it's been peer reviewed and gone through these kind of things and you're studying it you can trust it right but yeah, there's yeah. so much information in uh, out there in the internet now you're going to get fall uh, you're going to fall prey to whatsapp university misinformation everything yeah. like that that is one extra reason why i believe we need to uh, have uh, nutrition yeah. being taught at an 
practical it's level formalized in some yeah. sort of a uh, education system because some people treat nutrition in a pseudo science or something yeah we study really... pipettes and burets and uh, yeah. all of these things right <laughs> Ni- uh, like only people in the chemical industry are actually going to use it but we all study it right Yeah, why yeah. can't we study nutrition which yeah. everyone has think, access to yeah. or everyone think, needs it across their full life yeah at least tell that i got to be there and understand about it yeah because we don't need to be experts in it unless you're actively pursuing that field but yeah. if you don't have a base foundation or a base understanding of it that's where things start to fall there you go well with that thought uh, let us know in the comments uh, what you feel about this issue Uh, this was just a discussion. Let, uh, let us know if you like this kind of video. Uh, comment if you find this useful, and uh, how we can change the theme of the video even to maybe give about some action items or something. But yeah, until then, peace. <laughs>